America was for over a century the dominant industrial leader in the world. But we're not as dominant as we once were. We lost 8 million jobs over the last decade. Middle class, uh, working Americans, have been stuck in the mud. And manufacturing jobs are critical. Many people were thrown out of the middle class, and unfortunately, many of those jobs, as we know, went overseas. So it has had a tremendous impact on livelihoods of many, many Americans. It affected my father when the textile industry moved overseas. And my husband lost his job. I uh, used to work for a company for 16 years, and they relocated. We've had some 50,000 small, medium-sized manufacturers close down. But I think because of this Making It in America agenda, there's now a focused effort at the national level that really is putting at the very forefront of public policy what we can do to support and enhance local manufacturers. We are not helpless. These are concrete, proven kinds of proposals that can actually put America back to work and rebuild our country. And that's what Make It in America really says. It's a focus on restoring pride in America pride in the things we build, and pride in the workers who build these products. You know, we were involved in that Chilean mine rescue in 2010, and when they called for rigs to come to the site, of the seven rigs that arrived, four of them were shrams. In 33 days, we dug a hole to bring those miners up out of the ground. What a great sense of pride. You need to have people that are in the STEM industries. Those jobs, in some instances, pay even better than some of the jobs that require an advanced degree. Manufacturing jobs expand the economy. When the economy is expanding, working men and women in this country have a better quality of life. That's why we're pursuing it so vigorously.